Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the eSnare, a snare synthesizer device. And yeah, so let's get started. So this is the eSnare device, a, a snare synthesizer, um, very easy device. So we have here on 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 off knob on on knob uh, the preset browser then the title the remote controls and the modulator section then this whole device consists of two oscillators oscillator one oscillator two and uh, a noise oscillator so okay three oscillators or two oscillators and a noise oscillator and a filter section and um, as well a global section with the fx container the velocity sensitivity and the output section. So with the two oscillators, it's um, a little bit similar like the e-kick because uh, the first oscillator is setting the bass tone. Um, with the tuning over here, you see it down here in the info bar when I hover the mouse over this dial. So you see it's on 158 hertz, 57 hertz on a D sharp two. And here I can put it uh, up to B3 or down to G um, sharp zero. With the decay, I define how long this note is, how long this snare is from this oscillator. And with the oscillator two, there is, um, as I said, uh, this is a little bit similar to the e-kick where you have like a, um, an offset, but um, it's not like a pitch down. It's just an additional tone on the snare. And um, both values of the oscillator two are just offsets. So it's um, always orientating on this um, the first oscillator so if i um, if i turn down the tuning over here uh, this offset gets um, turned down as well so the high tone you hear is this one This is fun, sorry. <laughs> and the decays as well. Um, the offset of this decay, so. So if this decay is very short, this decay gets short too. Or I can put this um, offset tone really uh, far more shorter or long. Sometimes it's good to just wiggle things around to um, hear the differences. That's why I'm doing that. But and it makes a lot of fun too. Sometimes it's good um, you don't you you only do like small moves. But in this case, uh, um, quick moves are sometimes good to hear differences of what is going on here, even uh, when, uh, especially when you're not so trained with your ears like that. So um, then you have here the noise oscillator. I just put a little bit back. Maybe like that, I don't know. And the noise oscillator is just uh, putting noise into the, into the sound. And there is um, an attack and a decay setting. I put decay down so it's, uh, the noise gets down very quick. And there's longer the decay is the longer the noise is there and you can hear the noise very clearly or you can use the attack it's um, more smoother attack like you would um, rub it over the, the snare drum or something, not hit it hard, something like that. And um, as well, there is a curve where you could um, 
configure the whole decay uh, knob as well. Like that. And then you have for the whole noise um, part, you have a width. But the width part is not only for the noise, even if it looks like, if you hear closely enough. It's for the whole oscillator part. So um, there should be maybe something, uh, it's difficult, maybe like he over here. So this part should be for global um, oscillator uh, over there. And here's a mix. So you can mix between the oscillator part and the noise part. This is mixing between the two oscillators, so you get more of the original um, oscillator and not over, over this. And if you put it on 100%, you still hear that this is affected by oscillator 1, but you can't hear the oscillator 1, you just hear the oscillator 2. But because this is only an offset from that, you hear if I wiggle this around because that gets wiggled virtually as well. So, and then there is the filters and the filter is very easy. This is a high cut, uh, this is a low cut and this is the filter resonance. So I could put uh, down the, the high cut. So there are not many high frequencies. So I could put it like that. Put some resonance in here. And this is uh, the same if I uh, use, for example, an EQ. And you all know that, but if not, you can put the resonance like that. And this is what is happening when I'm wiggling around the Q. So um, here the Q factor or the band Q um, is going up and down. And that's the same like over here. Okay, and then there is the um, FX. Uh, um, container where you can put in some effects and um, in here I set the same for the e-kick. Um, you should consider very often in some genres to put in here a distortion device because um, uh, depends on your mix uh, for sure but um, a lot of times for the music I do is always a good um, advice to put in here a distortion device so if I use it like like that, for example, not so much Q. To just give it a little bit more punch and more presence, um, um, what you're doing. And um, you always should, if you're working with distortion devices or hard clippers or something like that, like that you should uh, put in here a peak limiter to be sure that you're not um, peaking over zero. And um, with uh, the E snare and the E kick and um, all the other devices, when you want to create very loud music, like in electronic music, you should um, think about if you put um, the track volume up to um, zero dB so that you all um, always can work against the zero, B, zero dB against your target. Um, depends on how you how you're working and how you are aware of the whole concept um, of um, a track volumes. Um, there will be another tutorial about the um, track volumes, uh, the whole metering system for the tracks, the pre and post um, fader uh, things. Um, that's something different. Not so many people are thinking about that, how they, how they use it. 
And yeah, that's everything about the e-snare right now. Maybe one last um, thing that I um, said as well to the hi-hat. If I um, do something like this where I have uh, snares with different velocities, I put them on different notes because the snare always sounds the same uh, regardless if I put the snare over here very high or um, very low. And uh, with different notes, I um, have a workflow where I can select a, diff um, a special uh, velocity with one click. So I can just select everything I want to do right now. And if I want to have something in between, I could, for example, wait, <laughs> could put that over here, put it, for example, here, like that. Okay, that was not that good. So now I can select everything over here and put it like that. And if I want to just select that again, put that down or hold uh, control shift and put it down directly on the note. Like that, for example. So that's uh, that was the last uh, tip uh, that I want to give you. Um, for this for this tutorial i hope you liked it and if you liked it i would ask you kindly to do that so like and subscribe to the channel and i am always happy if you leave a comment uh, because feedback is always a nice thing when i hear from you people watching these videos and tell me okay um <laughs> it helped me it didn't help me because i have another problem with this tell me about tell the community uh, community about that because um sometimes it's very helpful when you just uh, say something out loud and people listen to you and uh, sometimes other people has have uh, really nice ways or workflows or tips and tricks that help you very much so talk comment and um, i hope i see you soon again in the one of the next videos so stay healthy see you soon ciao ciao